to know how to make this trendy Vicky James exaggerated puff sleeve. Then watch my detailed video on Joy Dalla Fashion Guide. Please like my video, share my video. This is Joy Dalla Fashion Guide. Hey, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making Vicky James exaggerated sleeve, just like you can see on the screen. So for the sleeve, you need a regular sleeve pattern like this. This is a sample sleeve, a sample pattern. Just for tutorial sake. So there's a cap height, the bicep, the elbow. This is the elbow line, this is above the elbow. So you go one inch above the elbow and cut the sleeve into two. So you're going to cut this into two. You set this aside first. And don't forget to mark the middle line. Then this other one that you have cut out, we are going to share it into equal parts. So depending on the width that you have, you can make it to two inches interval. But whatever interval you are using, make sure that you use same for all so that we can spread it evenly we are going to be slashing through and spreading so for example you mark what you have here and then you divide by seven and share each of them okay then you can also do this cap area as well just measure what you have divide it into seven parts so that you can have seven equal parts. So after sharing it to seven, you go ahead and number it. So I've numbered mine one to seven, and then you are going to cut through. Do what you use your paper scissors. You are going to cut from the cap towards the elbow, but will not cut it through completely. You just leave a little bit hanging. After slashing through like this, you pick another cartoon paper. So you draw a line. I'm going to draw a base line. You can measure um, this is about two and quarter. So you can be two inches or three inches. Just a base line for a guy like this. Then you also mark the mid line. So I use the marker so that you can see the line. So I've not the baseline here from here. So the middle of this is four. So make sure that four is on this midline. We are going to spread the others like this, okay? So use your masking tape to hold it in place. So the spread depends on what you want and how much fabric that you have. So you can make it to two inches, you just make sure they are in the same interval. 
or if you make, want it to be full, I can make it three inches, okay, or even four. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just make this of two inches. So this is what we have when we are done spreading. Then from this middle, mark three inches, and then just take it this way. So we are going to use this to cut it out. So I'm going to cut through here. this to the original stick so you can just do something to come it this line so I say that let it correspond to this line okay and then let this correspond here and let this correspond here. Place this on the fabric and cut it out. So I'm going to be using this rough fabric just for tutorial sake.
This is what you have. So go ahead and mark the main points. We have to read each here. So this is where the design is going to be. So I think the first part of design, the middle, this is the center. Cut this out. What we can see here. Cut out white fabric. We cut two of this. So this is it. I've cut it out. I'm going to iron. Come stay here and here. Then I also iron. Come stay on this part. Then measure what you have here. Measure it round. And multiply by three. So just measure one like this to this side. Multiply by three and cut out a long strip like this. So you can cut the wideness can be six inches, so that when we fold it into two, it will be three inches. But I'm going to be using this for tutorial sake. This is two and a half. Well, the length I'm working with will be 60. So let's iron the interface and see what we So this is what we have after ironing interfacing. Our iron gum stay on it. So you just put both of them together and retrain. So we are going to gum these two together to be one.
place this on it. The hot iron. This is ready. So I've ironed gum steel on this as So you can put fold it together like this and then retrain so that both of them can be the same. So that they'll be the same fullness. Take note of the middle. So this is going to be here like this. So just use the chalk to trace to trace it. So we are going to be pleating around here. Then the one that I have already cut out, remember that I will measure this one. Then multiply by three and then we we'll cut out a long strip like this. So we're going to fold it into two and iron. So if you like, you can also iron a gum stay here. I am going to stay on it. So for this kind of project, satin is okay. Rather satin, duchess, any of the satin. So after ironing, place it together like this. And then I need to reduce this end. So we are going to pleat round. Can you see the mark? This I'm going to pleat round here. So just take it to the machine from one end like this. I'm just going to pleat it like this. Just do it gradually until we get to this side. So let's go to the machine.
So this is what we have after pleating. You can use a glue gun to do this. We're using glue gun. You can put glue at this middle here too. So put around the edges. So fabric glue can also do this. This one to use glue gun at the edge to seal it. So just be careful, let it be neat. So after this, you will use a trimming to cover this rough edges. So I'm going to use this. Apply the hemming glue and then I'm going to place it. It's going to be on it like this. This is just for tutorial. If you are making yours, you can use a matching color. Looking gorgeous. So once we are through with this, you are going to be pleating this back to the original shape. I'll use this paper to explain it. You know we slashed it, so you are going to be pleating. When you pleat, to return it back. So these two will need this, you see. And then you pleat it will bring them back to how they were before. This was number four. And then you pleat and have this. 
to the very place about it. So just split it using the ample. Before I started my own, this was seven inches, so I'm going to pleat. I'll just pleat. Okay, mm -hmm. making sure that I have the seven inches. So let me pleat and show you what it looks like. Like this. So this is what it will look like. So you measure to see that you've gotten the original. This is the middle. I had seven before. You see, seven. From this middle, measure to this side as well. So I will redo this side. So they should be the same like this. I'm going to use the same machine to hold down this split. So I'll just run a stitch from here to here. Then after I've done that, I'm going to take the sleeve round. And just flip it inside. Then from the inside, I'll stitch it up to this point and leave the um, the armhole round okay i'll do that and show you what it looks like that's it we have come to the end of this video i hope you find the tutorials helpful don't forget to give me a thumbs up like my video share my video this is jaydala fashion guide so here is the final look of our sleeve this is Jaydala Fashion Guide. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, share my videos. Vicky James Plated Sleeve. This is Jaydala Fashion Guide.